been checking on Chile de Castro. I don't know what got into me. There's a criminal trial for two misdemeanors against him. On Let's take a look at the docket and uh, we'll go from there. The docket on the case that I pulled up this morning. Here's the case number, the year, criminal, case number itself. Jose de Castro, Department 8 of the Justice Court right there. And uh, anyway, here are the two charges he's, he's uh, being accused of. And then the statutes, Nevada, Nevada Rise Statute 197, 190, and the other one. So resisting a public officer and a false statement or obstruction of a public officer. So here's when the case was filed on March 15, 2023. Here was something interesting. Media requests for electronic coverage. So that might be the Nevada judges. They uh, jumped in and wanted to be. <laughs> so you always have to get court permission before you uh, film in a courtroom. Just ask P. Barnes that. Um, by the way, uh, good luck if you're contesting jurisdiction on this one, Chili. I really don't think your lawyer is going to do that. Uh, Raymond was completed. He was advised of the charges. You can also waive reading the complaint, save the judge the trouble of having to read every allegation against you. Chili rejects. The state's offer. So they had the pretrial conference, had the arraignment, have to do it within a certain time. Anyway, he's saying, nope, I'm going to trial. There was the motion to uh, delay the discovery, and it was granted because there was no objection from the prosecutor right now. The bench trial date was reset as of September 12th because of the continuation request. And now they've set the trial, I said December 3rd, December 6th, 930, Judge Zimmerman. So let's take a look here. Judge Zimmerman has been on the, she's a justice court. That's Zimmerman, Department 8, Township Justice Court. She's got jurisdiction over this case. And uh, she was uh, in the Attorney General's office. We got a prosecutor here who became a judge. That happens a lot. Happens more than you think. But she also practiced uh, criminal defense, so she had it on both sides of the aisle. Look at the charges. The first misdemeanor, obstructing a public officer. Okay. Every person who, after due notice, I'm giving you a lawful order, shall refuse or neglect. Refuse would be willful. Neglect would be negligent. Okay. So it's willful or negligent. To make or furnish any statement, report, or information, turn over your driver's license, insurance, registration, lawfully required by any public officer. And they've got a lot of case law backing that up. Or who in such statement, report, or information shall make any willfully, that means deliberately, untrue, misleading, or exaggerated statement, or who shall willfully hinder, delay, or obstruct in the discharge official shall, where no other provision of law applies, be guilty of a misdemeanor. That's a very broad statute. Basically, if someone gives you a lawful order and you want to mess around with them, they can charge you for this. It has nothing to do with the traffic citation of running a red light. You've just now entered the world of infraction to misdemeanor. The next charge, another misdemeanor, Nevada Revised Statute 199.280, resisting a public officer. Now, when we say that you resist him, we're not saying in terms of temptation. We're talking about deliberate noncompliance. A person who, here's another one of those all-purpose type of criminal statutes. You got to be careful, guys. A person who, in any case or under any circumstances, not otherwise specially provided for, willfully willfully so that's deliberate that's the standard here we got to deal with did you do it willfully resist delays or obstructs a public officer in discharging or attempting to discharge any legal duty of his or her office shall be punished okay well one doesn't work if it's a firearm it's a felony we don't have any dangerous weapons here number two dangerous weapons nope don't have it where no dangerous weapon is used in the course of such resistance obstruction or delay for a misdemeanor. So he'll be charged, he's being charged under three because he did not use a weapon or dangerous anything. Maximum six months, $1,000 fine. And here are some of the common defenses that he lacked willfulness or acted in self-defense or the rest was illegal. So here's where I mentioned before with the federal cyber stalking statute. When you like to post videos of the things you do, I'm here to delete laws. I'm here to overturn Terry versus Ohio. I'm here because the police are pigs. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this prosecutor might just throw in a few videos for the trial. And it would be under the idea of pattern, habit, 
custom, practice, uh, knowledge, and to show willfulness. In case Chile wants to practice uh, law, uh, which I don't think he will, and I'm, I'm impressed that he got a lawyer this time. Jurisdiction, well, jurisdiction has been established. It says, they make such rules and regulations that will enable them to transact judicial business in a convenient and lawful manner. Restitution, here's the Nevada Revised Statute for restitution, uh, if it's a misdemeanor. They got some latitude here. If he's convicted of a misdemeanor, he may make restitution to the person named in the order. But the, the restitution here would be to the state. Uh, here is the ability of the justice court to suspend the sentence. Now, suspended sentence means you plead guilty. And as long as you keep your nose clean, person is found guilty or a misdemeanor. The court may suspend execution of the sentence and grant probation as the court deems advisable. If you plead guilty and stay out of trouble, the whole case is tossed. If you plead guilty and get in trouble, the conviction stands. So if Chile is looking at playing the angle here that he knows that he can get through probation without any trouble, then he's got a free shot at the publicity, the trial, the whole thing, maybe even win the trial if he, if he has grounds to win it. So that might be what's going on here is that he's banking on because it'll be a first time offender, at least it looks like to me, that he's only going to get probation and a suspended sentence. Okay, uh, credit goes out to our Nevada judges. Excellent website, really amazing. So they put in a request for the judge to approve their cameras to be there. Normally, the first rows are only for people who are being locked up, like these guys right here. I want you to look at his face. That's the face of intensity. He knows the drama is is real. It's nice. He did what he was required to do. Michael Mead, 13726, on behalf of the defendant, he is present with me in court this morning. Anytime you hear that, you know it's a criminal case. Okay. Nice etiquette, buttoning his coat. The lawyers never really do too much of that. Hey, okay, this is typical, bunch of continuations, continuances. I have everything you need now. Or Your Honor, I believe I have everything the court has ordered. Whenever a lawyer says, I believe, it's the same as saying, I don't know, or I'm kind of bullshitting you. For example, uh, is your name Pat Darcy? I believe it is. Yeah, it doesn't work. You can see his eyes are actually kind of bulging out a little bit. The guy's feeling the stress. His hand is clenched as well. He's feeling the stress. It's a stressful job. No fault there. It shows he cares. 19th at 930. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. My, my uh, I have just been informed my, my client is not going to be in the country on that date. Can you push it out another month? Sir, can, I, can you tell me when you're not in? <laughs> this guy's smiling. Let's just call it for what it is. Delays. I can go slightly before that date if you have any availability. But I'll be out of the country in December and January. The second part of December. Most of January. Everybody's amused right now. Yeah, I'll be out of the country. Look at all the smiling faces. They're like, yeah, bullshit, dude. We know what's going on. It's December 6th. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, everybody. as well. Okay, he's walking out. Looks pretty stressed out. He's got kind of a grimace. Look at the cop shaking his head, the, 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 the deputy sheriff. I don't know if he was the one that arrested him. Look at this. Look at that look right there. He's shaking his head. So my name is Chili DeCastro. My channel is called Delete Laws. On you. I was arrested in Las Vegas for filming the police. That's actually not what you were charged with. Do you want me to read the charges again? I know they were waived in open court, but... They brought in six men in chains. In chains. And I asked the guards, do these guys try to escape? And she said, I've never had anybody try to escape, but yet we still bring people in in chains. There's a good reason for that, Chili. Uh, first of all, these guys are all awaiting trial. Uh, these guys are all uh, can, uh, accused of, a lot of them are accused of very dangerous crimes. And by chaining them all together, it makes it really difficult for them to escape. Okay. It also is a public safety issue because you have people here in the gallery who may get attacked. OK, this is just what happens when you get accused of crimes. But shackling is standard practice. And to say that they're being dragged in in chains. Well, you know, when you get accused of murder, rape, robbery, burglary. Yeah. 
And that's the whole reason I do what I do. As far as the semantics of court and all those things, I probably can't get into any specific details. You have constitutional rights and you have Nevada constitutional rights. And you should use your rights completely and fully and never back down from them. Stand on your... Okay, so if I was the prosecutor in this case, first of all, I'm pulling all your files, all your videos, since you've mentioned it. You've also said basically that Nevada does not respect the property rights or the civil rights or the rights of people, that it's different than the rest of the country. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you to your proof because these are out-of-court statements made by a party. And uh, you know what? You said too much. We have it. Uh, my thinking is, is that he will get convicted, okay? They're going to use his videos, habit evidence. Uh, he has a propensity to uh, incite the cops to not comply with them. You know, uh, there's the willfulness requirement. Again, I'm saying this without any background on what exactly happened. He said he filmed the cops, but it sounds like the cops gave him lawful orders and he refused, probably on body camera, body cam, which is going to be used against him as well. Did he fail to give them uh, who his, the, the proper ID? Did he refuse to uh, ID, you know? Did he slow them down and make them repeat the same question 40 times? These are hard charges to beat. And uh, my, my, my prediction is just based on his pattern and practice, he's going to get convicted of at least one charge, probably two. And uh, he's going to then get uh, probation where he's going to have to now comply with a lot of things or he's going to be back now looking at real jail time. And here's where things can get really bad for him. They could run those misdemeanor uh, sentences consecutively. So anyway, let me know what you guys think.